this is the surface that was applied. Now there's adhesive here, and so we want to try to remove this. The best way to do this is to take just a small portion. You can either use a, a wide uh, gasket remover or just a, a, a large screwdriver. And you just want to go down through and just do little sections at a time. And by doing little sections at a time, it's a lot easier to do. So you can see I actually prefer the, the gasket remover, but the screwdriver works pretty good too. And so you can just kind of hit it and just... We're going to remove the other side now. And you just start with going in the corner a little bit and just start the... And just take a little bit at a, a, little bit at a time maybe a quarter inch or so and you'll see if you just just kind of pry it up comes off pretty easy or you can just kind of put it under there and twist the screwdriver too that's another way and then you just want to take it right off see that's a pretty clean surface now we have. And I like the scraper a little bit better, but you, you can use the, the screwdriver just as well. Maybe a little bit larger blade than this would be good. Seems like the screwdriver tends to scratch a little bit more than the, than the other. See that gas just dissolves that gummy stuff right off. And I'm not even leaving it on there. If you leave it on there for about five minutes or so and then come back and do it, a lot of times it'll, it'll come off a lot cleaner. It is important though that we have a clean, dry surface little bumps and irregularities due to the paint being scratched or whatever is not an issue. And that's that. So we're all done. With the adhesion, adhesive material removal. Actually I see a little bit more here that Make sure we get that surface clean. All right. So we'll let that dry and then we'll use a little bit of 120 grit emery cloth um, to scuff the surface lightly and then use rubbing alcohol to clean it up and then apply the new, the new grip slip material.